Hello and welcome to Weekly News Roundup, your weekly dose of real estate news. Here are the top stories of the week. The Delhi Development Authority's new housing scheme is likely to be launched soon after the conclusion of municipal polls on April 23. Most of the 12,000 flats on offer are spread across localities of Rohini, Dwarka, Narela, Vasant, Kunj and Jasola. UP Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath has told the State Housing Department to give an approval to maps that have provisions of a rainwater harvesting facility while constructing a residential property. This move is aimed at containing depleting groundwater levels in the city. The Delhi Metro Rail Corporation is all set to venture into the residential real estate market and will soon put up over 500 flats for sale in the Rs 60 lakh to 1 crore range. Around 460 flats would be built at the national capital's Janakpuri locality, while 90 at Okla within two years. In a major setback to the investors of Tata Camelot housing project, the Delhi High Court held that the project could not be allowed to take off as it was well within the catchment area of the Sukhna Lake in Chandigarh. It also set aside the environmental clearances given by the authorities for the project. Sotheby's International Reality, the luxury real estate arm of the auction house Sotheby's is coming to India. As part of its expansion plan, the company will be setting up its first office in Mumbai. It will move forward and set up offices in Bengaluru, Goa, Chennai and Kolkata. Thank you for watching. For more real estate updates, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube and Instagram.